So we're not going to use the orange yet. Okay, so it's blue, ultramarine violet and white. And my 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 uh, uh, canvas is wet. So I just used a big brush, put water on my brush, and just put the spread the water. So I have enough room, enough time to blend my colors. It's gonna dry. So if you're working on a big scale, like 11 by 14, uh, what half of it? Half of it. Can take, mix the blue and purple and some white in it. So and let's see. I did. I did. Blue. No, I More did. Blue, huh? No, I. I. I wet. Uh, it's my canvas is too wet. <laughs> No, 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 no. But the color is more blue. Well, some areas, some areas are going to be more blue. Some areas, purple. Not, not. There's no. Um, hold on. I just have to dry it a bit because it's too wet. The the color is not adhering properly. You know, it's acrylic, so. It, okay. It's uh, first. First, it's going to be a bit uh, too, too, uh, too more more purple than blue. Yes, yes. More purple. Perfect. All the way from one side to the other. Yes, all the way. You see, at the top of the clouds, what we're doing is we're doing we're putting the sky first. And then we're going to put the clouds on top. That's the easiest way because otherwise it's going to be too hard to do. So in the middle, we have the we have the lake and the green. We're not going to see a lot of that. Um, those colors that we're putting right now. So we don't have to be too accurate at the bottom. It's only the top. The bottom, we're just gonna put a bit. These colors we're putting right now will make the other colors that we're gonna put on top after, uh, we'll, tone, we'll tone the colors down. Let's see, so I have here blue. Did you go all the way? With yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know what? It's like um, when we, you know, when we. Um, the last one we did. Prime it. We prime our canvas, wash yeah. with a wash. Yeah, it's the same idea. Yours is blue, mine is purple. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, eh? No. Okay. Mine's purple too. Purple, eh? Yeah. The purple is more stronger. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna go one more again. On the, on the top. Yes, but don't 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 put too much water. Don't put water again. And try to use unless unless it's too dry, like and and you need to put water. So do that. But other than that, don't. Uh, Layal, halfway mm. down, did you add more blue? No. Oh, here, here, down at the bottom. Yes, I added more blue at the bottom. But other than that, no, I didn't. I, you know, halfway down, it's orange. Yes. So you go second second round, right? Yeah, I just messed it up. I'm, I just messed it up. Yeah, me too. By, by mistake. That's okay. It's acrylics. No problem. It's pink. Mm -hmm. you fix it. Okay. 
Now, what you see right here is more like darker. So this is the color. I'm just gonna put the lights on. So to get this uh, very beautiful minty green, this color here, and I take cobalt blue. Okay. Take yellow, cadmium yellow. I think it's better to keep it on the blue side, but that's okay. We can adjust the color. And that's what I did. I adjusted the color after. Um, so I get that very beautiful bluish green. Take ultramarine violet to tone it down. And right now it looks muddy. So I'm gonna take white, put in the white and there I'm getting that beautiful minty green. But uh, what I'm gonna do is add more, a bit of more yellow, start adjusting uh, the color to get the, the exact color I want. So the white, white or misty green, it's too, too green though. Because you're not putting enough, you're not putting enough white, put more white. It needs, it should be green, um, more like a gray, gray green. Did you get it more gray? What color would you put in? Ultramarine violet, touch of ultramarine violet will tone it down. And and lots of white, that's what I'm putting, a lot of yeah. white. Yeah. yeah, but it's still like a lighter green. I want to get it more gray. Gray, ultramarine violet. Okay. Yes. Yes, it's working? Mm -hmm. uh, with okay. uh, violet. Yes, with, with ultramarine violet, it tones it down. It makes it more grayish. This is still going to dry darker than what we're seeing in the picture, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I mean, we don't have to have exactly the same. Um, so from what I'm seeing in the picture, we really don't have to have it all the way. We could just do the kind of the bottom part. And I'm just going to use there. Use my round brush and just spread the color. Or, or, you know, any brush you have. Do you water it down? The, my color? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's not thick. But it's not too watery at the same time. Okay, so it's enough, enough for the uh, brush to move easily. Um, and... Uh, and, and it's it's not too thick. So I'm, I'm gonna get to this side, left side. I'm gonna start adding a bit more ultramarine with white right there. Oh, nice. What brand are you using again? Uh, I, I'm just using ultramarine violet. No, 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 no. The name, the name. It's uh, Liquitex. Golden, golden, or Liquitex. 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 Yeah. Why? Because mine is light green. It's not. It's not a. It's not the color. It's how much you're putting. I know, you're still, I know. Then put I some. Know. Put some more blue if it's too light. Or if it's too green. Add some, a bit of blue yeah, yeah. in there. Yeah. Try, see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. 
Boy, this canvas is sucking it up like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> So the um, the next part that you did, you added more blue. No, I added more purple. Oh shoot! No, it's okay. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, a, a bit more purple with uh, with the same, like more purple with the same color and white. So is it darker? It's hard no, to a little bit. It's a bit darker, right? A little bit instead of. Uh, yes, yes, it's more like a gray. Uh, 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 it's like uh, like a, a purple gray color, as opposed to green gray. Yes. Yes. I, I, exactly. It's not working. No, very well. Too green. What's the, what's not working? Tell me. Too green. It's, it's I just too green. green. So I have cadmium orange here, or actually, to be uh, accurate, it's called vivid red orange, but it's the same like cadmium orange. Um, I think cadmium orange is a bit more opaque than this one. And then I'm, I added a touch of the blue in it to tone it down. So make it more kind of a grayish orange, not too light. Or ultramarine violet, both of them will work. Round brush. And I'm going to start adding this orange. Um, first, let's make sure that the brush is not loaded. Not yet. And I'm just going to come here and just go like this with my brush. This is a bit too much of too much orange. So I'm adding to adjust a bit, I'm adding a ultramarine violet and a bit of white with my orange. Yeah, that's better. This is more like grayish. And, and I will I will adjust the colors. This is not final. When it's dry, I'll go back and add more blue or uh, more um, uh, purple. I'll, I'll see what it needs and I'll add it at that point. Did you add white to that? Yes, yes, I just added white. So I, I put my, my I um, wiped my brush a bit, removed some of the paint, the orange that I have, took uh ultramarine violet and white and you don't cover completely i don't what sorry cover cover completely. no i'm not covering completely no so it's like more like a dry brush right now yeah i i, I honestly don't think we can do exactly what you see in the picture it's going to be really hard to do um yes. So if we do something close, it'll be perfect. If we can get to a closer. So this is my kind of, I'm gonna wet my brush now. And now I'm gonna start picking up more of the orange because I'm getting to this area here. So I can, this area was like a toned down orange right there, kind of grayish. And now I'm gonna get here where it's gonna, it's getting uh, more, intense bright bright so i'm going to do this so what i'm doing is i'm turning my brush around and when i'm doing this um, if you really like your brush uh don't do that not with this one because this is this is going to ruin it for sure and i know i can't get another one of these but that's okay doesn't matter okay You know what? I'm going to switch my brush. I'm using this now. <clears throat> I'm going to take some of this orange. I can pull some of that, this orange that I have right now, which is a bit more, um, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to uh, tone it down. 
And I'm going to come back here and then just go. Yeah, that's better. Okay. I'm not too worried about this area because I'm going to put trees here, but just make sure it's clean because the tip of the tree, the top of the tree is going to be showing right here. So you want to make sure that the background is done properly. <clears throat> now. You go down? Yes, I'm going down. In yellows or in uh, orange? Again? Orange, orange. Dorian, did you add some, you said some of the other colors to in there, like some white or? No, I didn't add white. I just used the orange without toning it down. Okay. I mean, I used whatever is left over of the toned down orange here and I, and I just grabbed more of the pure orange. Okay. Are you covering the whole canvas? No. Now here, here, yes, here, yes, yes. I'll show you, I'll tell you why. Okay, let me just, I'm gonna finish here. So what you're putting on there looks kind of yellow. Did you add yellow to your orange? No, I didn't. Yes, she's right, yes. Oh my God, that's the setting again. That's okay, as long as Not yellow. It's just orange. It's just, I don't know why the yellow is showing. So pure yellow, pure orange pure on the bottom. Orange. Yes, yes, yes. All the, all the way down to the green? Uh, just overlap with the green a bit. And we're gonna put the green over that again. One more layer. This is not gonna be, it's gonna be a couple of layers. It's not gonna happen with one layer. Yeah. It's oh not. God, it's what a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a mess right now. Just be patient. Oh. Just be patient. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> it's paint. We're gonna go over it a couple of times. We're gonna go over back and forth. Fill back and forth. The base. Now, don't worry about the bottom part. I'll show you yes. how to fix it. Trust me. Yes. Mm. Trust you. Mm. Hi, Brandon. What? I oh. just said hi to Brandon. You just walked in. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm taking, yellow I'm taking yellow and putting it in my orange. So my orange is a bit yellowy now. And come here. Oh boy. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Who is complaining? Who do you think? Well, you didn't cover your green, did you? You didn't go that far down? I just covered a bit. No, not the whole thing. No, no, look. No. I can't. Where, where is it? Oh, there you did. Oh, okay. Nice. This is abstract yeah. art, isn't it? Yes, think about it. Oh, that's a great idea. Do we quit now? Think about it as abstract art. I okay, never did something like this before. What? I never We're done, <laughs> We're done yeah. then. We're um, done? Yeah. <laughs> when? Yeah. Is this abstract art? Oh. That's it? Wait, wait, just, just. Just go over this. This doesn't happen from the first time. You have to go over it a couple of times and adjust the colors. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we know. If, if it well, was what anybody can be painting. Camera, yeah. Camera just went out of focus. The camera went on. Oh, even the camera is, is complaining. <laughs> <laughs> is there a reason why you're angling your? Your brush stroke upwards? I'm not actually, I, I just, I'm not. I, I just, my brush stroke is straight, it's not upward. 
Does it look upward right now? Eh, that's okay. See this 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 rich color? Yes. Mm -hmm. Only happens applying layers. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. The more layers you apply, the richer it, it looks, the deeper it looks. Mm -hmm. Because what we're doing right now, we're kind of glazing and the glaze is transparent. So you don't have a lot of uh, uh, depth yet. So to, to get that depth, you need to apply layers, let it dry and go back and apply more layers. Um, I, I know it's, it's crazy, but that's really the only oh, way is. to get some nice if effects here. So now the highlights that you're doing is yellow and orange. There's no yellow. Huh? Oh, did There's you no see yellow? Yeah. Yeah. yellow. Okay. I'm going to stop recording because I have to okay. adjust the color. So after uh, doing mixing cadmium red and yellow to make this orange, um, I put a, a, a thick layer, like enough layer in here of orange mixed with red and yellow. Now I'm taking round brush, orange, uh, yellow. I'm putting a bit of orange in it, but it's mostly yellow. And with, the, with my brush, I'm just going to go across just to give that a um, bit of beautiful kind of yellowy orange sky sky so i think before the color was showing you know like a mustard uh, you know not a not a right not not the right color because i was using the vivid orange from the tube so it it it, it didn't work this is better Mixing orange, like making it from red and yellow, or using cadmium orange should be, cadmium should be orange better. Is, nice. hmm? is that just straight yellow layout that you're using? No, that's yellow that has a bit of orange in it. Oh. Touch. So it's not, it's more yellow though. Right. But it's, it's kind of toned down with the orange a bit. Okay. Ah, it's too much. All right, that's better. And I and again, I like I said, the more layers you put, the nicer it looks. The smoother, the deeper, the nicer it looks. But you really have to, uh, with these kind of colors or or this kind of uh, combination of color and transition of color, you need to wait for it to dry and then add the next layer. Um, it's very hard to do it with uh, just one layer or two. Um, And the color would be more even. The more you add color, the, e the more even it looks like. The smoother transition, the deeper, richer colors. And one more thing. This is acrylics. We have to remind ourselves all the time. This is acrylics. It's not oil. It's not. Uh, it's not easy to blend. This. This because it dries fast. It's not easy to do a smooth blending and smooth transition. Transition. So, it really is okay to get uh, um, colors or blending that's not exactly the same what you see in the in the in the picture is there any uh, orange dark orange between well that's yeah that's the one that i had before yes, yes. It, yeah, there is a dark orange it, but you know how how acrylics when you put the first layer uh, or the color it looks okay and then when it dries it goes deeper or darker yeah, so yeah. what's happening? So 
So now I'm going to go down with my, uh, I'm going to mix my orange and go down a bit. Got a light, light orange, more yellow than orange. Let me see if I need to add white to this. I think so. A bit at the bottom. At the bottom, yeah. Let's say this is a horizon line. I have trees over here, and then I have trees reflection down here. Now, I, 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 I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to assume no trees. So I'm going to put the color first, and I'll adjust it and see. This is orange. Um, mixed with yellow. It's lighter. Yes, I added a touch of white in there. Very, very soft white. Very, very little white, but there is a bit of white in here. And now, because this is what I see, I see it turns on an angle. And I see a bit of uh, darker orange in here. So I'm going to add it in between. Is the horizon line in the middle of the picture? It is in here, in this picture. So it doesn't matter because what I can do is either lower the horizon line or put it up when I put the trees. But yes, right now it's in the, in the middle. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be safe. You know, I'm trying to make sure that I have it in the, Kind of in the middle, so I can adjust the trees whatever I want them. And if yeah. I want, I could, we don't really have to. We could keep it in the middle. Why do you keep going side sideways? Sideways, because this is what I see in the picture. The reflection of the okay. are going down a bit sideways, going that way. Reflection of the uh, uh, clouds in the water. Okay. Just want to get the right brush. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my God. What am I, what have I done? Okay. <laughs> All right. I put a bit of white. I just wanted to highlight it a bit because I can see uh, in this area it's a bit lighter. Mm. So um, I just to put I, I put too much white. When I see colors in the reference that are, um, you know, too complex, let's say, you know, too many, it's not an orange, it's not a yellow, it's not this, it's not that, it, I ignore them. I just, I, there's no way I can repeat whatever I see in here, just too many. So I simplify, I simplify them. I don't have to have the same. Don't forget, we're going to have reflection of trees, uh, the boat, the reflection of the boat. So we're not going to see it exactly what you see right now. It's going to be kind of camouflaged a bit. Just might, what I need to do is I might need to, when I get to this area here, right here, is um, add a bit of uh, ultramarine violet to my orange just to make it... Um, kind of toned down a bit at the bottom of the picture. But you see, the more layers I put, the nicer it looks, the softer it looks, and more depth. It's always like this when you're painting. Mid-tone or mid-tone, I mean mid midway, uh, it's, it looks awful. The more you work on it, the nicer it looks.
Midway Midway is always uh, I, I call it uh, I, I I call Midway is what have I done? Mm -hmm. This is what it's called. What have I done? And then it goes back to oh I like that. No, it's good. The more you work on it, the nicer it looks. Mm -hmm. Wait for it to dry, adjust again. So this is, it went too dark. I am, shouldn't be doing this right now because I know for sure my color is gonna lift. Yeah. Now I'm not waiting. It started to be. <laughs> yeah, have to be careful. This is, this is, with acrylic, you don't have to wait too long and it dries yeah. fast, but still. Oh, I like that. That looks good. So we did for this beautiful green down here, we we mixed ultramarine violet, cobalt blue, cadmium yellow, and, and white. And white. white. Yeah, so cadmium, we'll do that. We'll do it this way. We'll do now. And you see, I, I'm 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 doing it again one more time because I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take it's all recorded. You can go back to this, so you don't have to follow me right now. I'm just taking advantage no, that I'm can't. recording. I can't. <laughs> oh I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna make a yellow. So this is cobalt blue, cadmium yellow light. I'm going to put ultramarine violet in it and white. And now when I put ultramarine violet, I can adjust the color. So if it's too, ye uh, too yellow and too bright, I can tone it down with ultramarine violet and add more, more white, more ultramarine violet. White. It's not that I want to uh, match the color in here. I just want to have a nice color that will go with orange. So I'm really not worried about matching the color in the reference. If I like the color I'm paint, um, I'm mixing, that's good enough. You know, I suggest that tomorrow when you look at the, ooh, too green. When you look at the painting again tomorrow, uh, it's it's good. It's it's better to leave it, leave it alone tonight when we're done, and tomorrow look at it again, and see. You can see, you can, you know, adjust it again tomorrow. First of all, the color will be, will be better because it, like the paint will settle and dry. So you can go back and clean it up and add another layer. I'm going to introduce a bit a bit of this color, maybe in here. This round brush works really well. It's a yes, good, I yeah, brush. brush. Yeah. I'm going to sign the one. So see before it, this area was really messy, but now because I put another layer, this orange in here, it looks yeah. better. better. Yeah, because I put another layer. Okay, so I don't have to really worry about this because the trees are reflected in here. But um, I like to, when I have trees, I like to have a good background because I don't want to worry about these. When I do this, I want to make sure whatever is behind them, behind this is done properly. Um, 
Okay. Ayala, now. is there a little bit of orange now in your blue? What blue? The, um, on here? the bottom right hand corner. I see a bit of orange in it. Like I see, like I can see, maybe I'm seeing things, I don't know. Maybe you are. <laughs> oh, I see orange too. Huh? No. Where? Here? In the, Here? Yes, there. Maybe because maybe it's, maybe, it's, maybe, it's, maybe there's a bit of a orange from the what was underneath from this. Oh, okay. I put the blue over it. I had orange here, a bit of orange, wispy orange, mm -hmm. yeah. the blue over it. So that's why you're seeing a bit of orange. Okay. This is ultramarine violet right now with the that that color that I have in here like on, it's on my brush I just added more ultramarine violet Ugh. more ultramarine violet here and you see the ultramarine violet is is grayish kind of because of this color and what I'm going to do is come here and then just oh no too dark let's put a bit of white in here because it's going to dry darker so if I don't put if I don't highlight it, it's going to dry even darker and it's going to look too dark. Is that water? Pardon? Is water? that supposed to be water? Yeah, that's like I'm breaking up the orange, the orange in here. I'm breaking it up with a bit of uh, 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 purple, like a grayish purple. Too much? It's okay. Too much? No. <laughs> no. Eating from hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Honestly, just work on it a bit during the week if you have time. If you have time and you can do this one more layer, you'll see the more layers you put, the, the more the nicer it looks, and you'll enjoy it more. You'll enjoy it. I'm taking the same ultramarine and I'm adding it here, here and there, but up and down, just to soften the edges of the orange. There we go. After I'm done, I have to go look for my iPad. Mm. Mm. Where are you going to go first, the freezer or the fridge? <laughs> yeah, look in the freezer. Right. Does that feature find my iPhone work for the iPad as well? What's that? And, and the, the feature find my iPhone, doesn't it work for the iPad as well? That's true, actually. Yeah, it's in the house. 
It's in the house. It's the, the iPhone is going to tell me your iPad is in the house, stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, at least you know it's somewhere in the house. Send us an email. You found it. <laughs> I wish I can call my iPad. If I no, call my iPad and it yeah, rings. Yeah, you can't. I know I can find it. <laughs> I can't. You can't. Uh, Boy. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> this color, you added more white to it? Yes. Yes, okay. this is an orange, and I added white to my orange, a bit more yellowy. Okay. Just want it to have a bit of uh, highlight in here, just a bit more highlighted because I'm, you know, I, I we, we're gonna put this guy where it's around him. The color is uh, even and oh, it's highlighted. Me. It's more, it's lighter. Oh, I see. Kind of. okay. Sometimes I think it's just the paintbrushes that I have that just doesn't work. Are you working? Are you working with a round brush? I am. Okay. So are you pressing hard when you're <sighs> pressing hard? Yeah, don't, maybe. Yeah, don't press hard. It's it's more like a feathery. But you need to get like lots of paint on your on your brush then, right? I don't know. Yes. Not, not a lot, a lot of paint, but enough for, you know, here. So I have my paint here. I dip my brush, tip of my brush in mm -hmm. water, put my color in here, there. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to wipe it a bit. You can't see. Can you see? Yes, you are. Yeah, see. yeah. Okay. And then it's, it's like using a feather, feather, feather it. Very, very soft. Just spread yeah. your color softly. Alrighty. You do you do it a couple of times. When you do it a couple of times, you can you it, you'll practice. Then it will work. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be too um, your colors. By the way, your paint shouldn't be too um, too watery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. All right. There. Okay, that's good enough. We're not going to do more than that. Very, very good enough. That's enough. Yeah.